A new app called Fire Chat is on fire here at South by Southwest. It's a communication tool for posting messages. But what's unique is that no cell service or even Wi-Fi networks are needed. Traditionally, data and text messages travel over a mobile network by going from your phone to the nearest cell tower, and then they're routed via other cell towers to the recipient. FireChat doesn't need AT&T or Sprint's towers. It doesn't even need a Wi-Fi router. It relays data from phone to phone to phone. So long as devices are running the app and within about 100 feet, FireChat can build its own network. FireChat works in any situation, when you are connected to the internet and when you are not connected to the internet. It was huge at the most recent Burning Man. Sharing info on FireChat helped people figure out what was happening. Then in Hong Kong, afraid authorities would turn off cell and Wi-Fi access, 500,000 protesters downloaded FireChat in a week. The most amazing was when you were in the crowd and you had no cellular reception because you had so many people in the streets. But people with FireChat were keeping on having a conversation and helping each other. Imagine cell towers go down in an earthquake and smartphone to smartphone networks crop up using FireChat. But in the everyday, the app's usefulness is a little harder to imagine, in part because there are no private messages yet. Everything's posted publicly like an old school AOL bulletin board. Even here at South by Southwest, the feed is sophomoric at best. Hi, how's it going? What's the weather like? The company says they're moving towards private messaging, but for now, that's off the table for security reasons. Because we're talking about private data needing to be relayed phone to phone. But in the future, if you went to private messages, that would be an issue. Absolutely, and that's something we are working on. But the possibility of new, hyper-local networks has this crowd and investors hyper-interested in FireChat.